and welcome to Gay Bart. In a minute, I will meet my friend Elida, who has a very special reason why she became interested in South Korea. And the reason is her grandfather, who was a Korean War veteran. I want to find out more about it, so Elida and I go on a little adventure to Osan, and I hope you guys join us. Let's go. I want to check it out really fast. This is my energetic friend Elida. Her grandpa from Korea's brother country, Turkey, fought for one year in the Korean War. Me standing in front of it, I feel so small. It's not sexy, or is it? It's not sexy at all. <laughs> <laughs> like when a guy would come to me with this car, I would be like, okay, nice. But Besides her grandfather, I wonder if she knew anything about Korea before. Um, No, actually, no, no because if, when I was like five or six, I heard the first time about Korea. So before that, I was too small to understand anything. But when I was in high school, I heard things about Korea, like from K-dramas and K-pop. So when he talked yeah. about Korea, you were yeah. at age like whatever yeah, dude you yeah, know what are yeah, you talking yeah, about okay yeah, yeah. i was like then, five years old and then later because yeah. of your own interest yeah. uh, gay drama yeah. and, and the, the yeah. whole korean wave yeah yeah was he still alive when he was you... uh, he was not more alive when i okay so you couldn't yeah. ask him with your new interest yes like this is the only one and only thing that i really regret and it's because of my age at that time i mean i listened to all his stories but mm -hmm. i was not as interested as i am now so with me in this age going now to my grandfather i think i could listen to him Day in exactly hours. right. At that time, you were just yeah. respectfully yeah, listening. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is the thing about the gate. Episode. I feel Elida. I also wish I could talk to my grandpa again to hear all his stories. There is one thing though that Elida does remember from her grandfather. Did he try Korean food during the Korean War? I always ask this to the veteran. Yeah, he, he did. He did? He did. He, because they, he, he told me like they had chimek, like chicken and mekju. Chimek? Yeah, like 950 chimek. Can you imagine that? Oh. Like on the 31st of December when it's New Year. But on that day, they got chicken and mekju. That's so, yeah, yeah. awesome. Because in, in the, you know, in the war time, never you could, could not eat like something fancy like that. Uh -huh. So that he told me that he had like chimek in 1950. There is a reason why we came to the UN Forces First Battle Memorial for a special exhibition that I want to show you later. So we had the exhibition of Rami. Yeah. Uh, Rami is a photographer, Korean photographer, yeah. who literally traveled all over the world, like every country that has participated in the Korean War, to photograph veterans. Wow. Isn't that amazing? So amazing. He's one of my role models. Yeah. You've met him. Yeah, yeah I've met him actually yeah. last year also like in an event. Uh -huh. And I was like just thankful, so thankful to him when I see him. And he took also pictures of us. What made you decide to go to Korea then? The first time it was just traveling to Korea because I wanted to see Asia. Okay, but it had nothing to do with your granddad. It, it, it Not had, necessarily. It had. Oh, it like had. I, because I wanted to go because of the K-dramas and I wanted to see like another country that I've never been to because I've been always to Europe. I was interested in Korea for my Korean friends the Korean food, tradition and k -bae. But then I remembered my grandfather and then I asked my dad, Dad, didn't you say that there is something about my grandfather in the war, like in the picture or something? Because I, I hear that, but I was not interested. But then when I bought my ticket to Korea, my uncle was like, you're going to Korea, make sure to go and check up the Yongsang Memorial War. And I was like, sure, why not? I heard there is something related to my grandfather. So of course I wanted to check it out. Mm -hmm. So I went there and I saw my grandfather's But you didn't know there. that. I was so proud like to see something from my grandfather in this country. This this is the exhibition of Rami and he has some amazing, beautiful and meaningful photos or portraits of all the veterans and not only of America, of all the participating countries. So because I'm here with Elida, I would like to find the Turkish war veterans and Ooh. the Dutch war veterans. Oh, that's good. Gazi means veteran in Turkish. Oh, that's yeah. cool. Some Turkish Korean war veteran. 2017. Oh. Now, if you don't see this, right, I could have never guessed that he's Turkish. Guess. Oh, you could face. guess? I could see his face, yeah. Father and son. Uh, oh. That's super sweet. Oh, oh no, they're in wheelchairs already. Oh. Oh, man. People getting old. I mean, can you imagine them being like healthy 20 years old, like healthy men? Exactly. They would be so attractive. Yeah. So Do you think that uh, your grandfather was honored enough by Korea? Oh, that's a good question. I would say yes, especially my grandfather actually. Mm -hmm. Because remember that I told you that he came in 2002? So even after 52 years, he was invited by the government to come to Korea to see the country. So I think he was really good in art. And then even after that, he was still in this one um, Turkish like basement where the people, the war veterans, met and talk every year. Mm. And even now that they even honor us, like the grandchildren, 
I think they're doing a really good job. But they could, mm. of course, always do better. But it's really hard to reach out, right? Mm -hmm. Because of the social media that we have now, they didn't have it back then. So it's really hard to find the family members. But right. I guess at that time, for that reasons in that area, I think they were really good honor. <laughs> So I overtook the camera, guys. Hi, hi. So today I have a guest. <laughs> Ilana, you stole my camera. Okay, let's see how long you can hold the camera like Oh this. yeah, let me see. I mean, it's my first <laughs> it's time. So so. It's quite heavy. Yeah, it's quite heavy. So, so here's the Turkish guy. Yeah, that's the that's Turkish one. guy. He looks and Turkish. He looks Turkish. Like, he looks like a little bit like, like an Adusi, like a Turkish Adusi. I know you, you get this question a lot, not only from me, but the media yeah, in Korea. Yeah, yeah. Don't you get sick of talking about <laughs> your grandfather? <laughs> <laughs> Actually, no, because it's my family story. So mm. I would not get sick of telling my story to people over and over again, because this is a thing that I would love to share, actually. And it's a meaningful story. It's not something fun or something mm. that's not important. This is a really important thing. So I think it's even nice to even speak about it even more and more. And I would love to even maybe 300 or 400 times even like repeat myself and mm. tell about this, because this is a thing that I think people should remember and not forget. I'm yeah. from the Netherlands. Yeah. We met each other through the story of your yeah, grandfather, true. basically. Yeah. You're from Turkey, Germany. Yeah. You, you're the third generation. Yeah. So grandfather, then your parents, parents and then you. Yeah, yeah. And now we meet in Korea, which is yeah. a country yeah. that has nothing to do with either of us. Yeah, true, true, true. So true. your grandfather did something, not only liberating Korea, he created a bridge between oh my God, like different cultures. Yeah, and that's yeah, how yeah. I look at it. So yeah, 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 yeah. me meeting the sentence is not only about their grandparents yeah. having fought in the Korean War. Yeah, yeah, it's yeah. about yeah. bonding, creating yeah, yeah new boundaries, yeah. new networking, yeah. Hello! <laughs> Hi, one babies! Priya, if you're watching this, let's make babies. <laughs> <laughs> They're too cute. They're too cute. <laughs> the veterans have not only defended Korea, but have also unintentionally created bridges between Korea and the rest of the world. Otherwise, I wouldn't be here with Elida talking about it and having fun in Osan. Rami's exhibition is worth a visit too. I wrote in four languages. In English, German, German Turkish, Turkish and, and Korean. Korean. <laughs> You're crazy. And you speak all of them fluently, yeah? yeah? yeah. So, uh, thank you for watching. Thank you guys and for welcome clicking to the in. Gay Bar Channel, all about veterans, with descendants and Yay. for the veterans. Yeah, look forward for more of our videos, guys. And maybe more Elida. Yeah, thank you maybe. very much. See you in the next video. Hado! Hello. <laughs>